I think the thing that is probably the most frustrating about the Archon is the fact that with Shinonuma, which came out a few months ago, it seemed like for the first time in Vanguard's entire season of content, Treyarch maybe did have some understanding, however small, of what the player base actually wanted from the zombies experience. But then Archon has turned around and gone, JK, it was just luck. We're in a weird place right now. Zombies is not, in theory, getting a new mainline map until 2024. And it'll be the end half of 2024 at that, October or November. So again, in theory, assuming we don't get any surprise standalone Zombies games or Zombies Chronicles 2s or whatever the hell, we now have a delightful two-year gap ahead of us in Zombies content. And even then, that two years may end up being longer. We don't know if plans are going to change in development. We've seen it happen before dozens of times where the intention of the game, the plan for the game, the goal for the game is not met and a hard pivot happens, a new entire genre of multiplayer comes out like Battle Royale games. Suddenly there's a pivot to those, etc, etc. And that could mean that we don't get zombies till 2025 or potentially even ever. And for now at least, it truly has ended, not with a bang, but with a whimper. From the very beginning, it's been plainly obvious that Vanguard has lacked certain critical features that make a normal zombies mode fun. And Shinonuma being round-based instead of whatever we're calling the other system wasn't a solution to those missing elements, I don't think. It made things significantly more enjoyable, but under the hood, I think there were still problems percolating and bubbling away in the Treyarch office that didn't necessarily show their faces in Shinonuma, but were still present. And now we have the Archon and the problems are apparent and staring you in the face. And in trying to understand why on earth this is happening to our beloved mode, I think we have to zoom out a little bit and consider the fact that Activision may simply not have faith in zombies as a product anymore. It stings. It definitely really hurts. But let's try and look at it from their perspective for a moment. Warzone is obviously incredibly successful. It's bringing in higher concurrent players than Call of Duty has ever seen before, and it's obviously the cash cow for the game. In comparison, Zombies DLC this year has been free. And on the microtransaction side of things, there hasn't really been anything that Zombies players would be especially compelled to buy in order to keep playing Zombies. So from Activision's point of view, just counting their pennies, they're going to see Warzone making all this money, they're going to see Zombies taking up a load of dev time and not earning any money, and obviously, they're going to cut the zombie staff to work on Warzone. Or they're going to cut the zombie staff, period. Or they're going to siphon some of that zombie's talent to the team that is actually working on the next Treyarch game instead of working on the present game because they're like, well, Vanguard's not doing so hot. It's a bit of a write-off. So we don't really have any faith in it being a money earner for us this year. Let's scrap the resources for it and just put people on Treyarch's COD 2024. And so regardless of whether or not you believe me when I say that there's clearly some kind of production issues and resource either misallocation or simply resource allocation to other things going on right now so that we don't get all of the bombastic and exciting experiences that we're used to from any traditional mainline zombies mode. I'm saying it because it's apparent. And the Archon, as a final effort to close out their obligation for DLC that will be released over the year, is pretty miserable, to be honest. It's on Terra Maledicta, which was already probably the most hated map in Vanguard Zombies. I think people disliked that more than Duranfang, I think. So you have this map that uh, the absolute best case scenario is poorly liked, and you have Treyarch publicly in advance of the map coming out saying, we've spent 90% of our resources or whatever the number was on the boss fight on this map. We really wanted to craft this really epic boss fight. And then you get the map and you get the boss fight and it's sort of okay. And in terms of scale and all this stuff, I like it a lot. Don't get me wrong. In isolation, the boss fight is really cool. It's just that prior to the boss fight, there's kind of no map there. It feels like there is no soul to the experience. It's just this empty, barren void that I'm running around in. None of the areas of the map are designed in an interesting way, in my opinion. The Dark Ether, we've seen it before. There's no reveal there. There's no excitement. There's no surprise. There's no delight. It's just, oh, I'm in ground that I was in six months ago when I hated the game. 
and now I hate the game a little less because of Shinonuma, but I'm still in that old space, so I've kind of got these carryover hangover memories that are with me here, and I'm re-experiencing it in a round-based format, which again is at least a relief to that old format that was so poor, and yet all of the things that would normally be in a map to enrich it and to make me gripped by the experience and to pull me through the narrative are just falling flat over and over again. And it comes back to resources, right? Why would they re-release the same map twice in one year? Is it because Treyarch ran out of ideas? No, of course not. Of course. It's because they clearly didn't have time to build a new experience, a new space, block out all the geo, get all your texturing done, your lighting done, your concept art initially, all of that stuff. Of course they would have done that if they'd had the time, resources, and team to do it, but clearly they didn't. On a normal year, there are probably upwards of five times more people working on zombies than there are currently, or at least up until the Archon, right? And with the Archon, it feels like that number was halved yet again. And the reason all of this stings as much as it does isn't because I'm like, well, Treyarch should have the resources all the time, and I blame Treyarch for that. Well, not really, no. It's more so the fact that I increasingly think that zombies would be in an infinitely better place if it was just marketed better. Because we were led to believe before this game came out that it was going to be a zombies experience like no other on a scale that would make it akin to and comparable to all these experiences of the past. And there's a long line of them at this point, and they're all more or less within a kind of range of quality, but it's an established range. Vanguard Zombies is way below it, but it was not marketed as such. And so, of course... We all went into it going, it's something new, so we've got to kind of give it a chance, but also it's meant to be this really fun new experience, and there's meant to be all these cool things happening this year, and you get in there, and it's like, oh, none of this is cool, and then there's not even an Easter egg, and then you have to wait until season two, I think it was, to get an Easter egg. It's just like, oh my god, why is anyone paying any attention to this right now? Like, why would you waste your time watching this product being built in real time only to get to the end of the year now with people who still haven't bought the game, by the way. Like I was talking to JC the other day. I advised him not to get the game on launch. I was like, it, you're just not going to like it, okay? It's going to be a waste of your money. Even now, when he's asking me, should I buy Vanguard? I'm saying to him, no. Why would you? Why would you spend your money? And so when you've got a lot of other people in a similar boat who've watched all the Zombies Communities videos from launch and thereafter and have seen that people have been extremely uninterested in the game. I've posted maybe, what, 15, 20 videos on this game total through the entire year. I normally do that in the first week of a map coming out from the first map on the game. I post hundreds of videos on the game normally every year. This year, like I said, less than 20. It's absurd. So those people who've been on the fence and are getting to the end of the year going, well, Shinonuma was a tick up, right? Shinonuma was an improvement. Shinonuma maybe showed there was some promise. And then it's a whimper. It's nothing. It's court effects falling in a hole. I'm not even sure if Kraft says anything when it happens. And all of this, by the way, as a precursor to the story that we got in Cold War, is so empty for no reason. Like, we knew where it was going. We knew that Cold War's story had this in its past, and we were filling in that gap. That was okay, right? It makes it less climactic, right? It makes the stakes less high, etc. But you can still have an Act 3. We didn't get an Act 3. We got an act one that everyone hated. We got an act two where everyone went, oh, is this going somewhere? And then we got an act three that just went like this. I don't think there's ever been a better sign that Activision, predominantly, but then also at least to some small extent, Treyarch, are out of touch. And I know the retort to that comment is they're not out of touch. They probably know exactly how bad it is. They know that it's a little bit embarrassing to release it, like for those developers to have their names on this piece of work. They know that it's much smaller scale and of much sort of lesser caliber to the work that they've done in the past and to what the normal Treyarch standard is. But they have to put it out anyway. And my response to that, of course, is, well, they don't have to. Activision don't have to put out a poor product. Activision could recognize the fact that this is really subpar and it is eating into profits that they don't necessarily recognize are being eaten into because they've mistreated zombies this year in a really big way, killed the animal, so to speak, and then gone, prod. Why isn't it moving? Prod. Oh, it's not doing any tricks anymore. Prod. Eh, I'll move on to something else. Warzone. They could reallocate if they want, but they're not gonna. And this brings me to the question of, is zombies even going to come back? 
in 2024. And I don't want to be alarmist, okay? This is not about that. But it's posing the question, if Zombies is in a sorry state right now, and if Activision feels that Treyarch might not really understand that special source, that magic formula that they used to have in creating this cult classic mode, and then they look at this year's numbers and they go, oh man, that really, really suffered. At what point do they say, we aren't interested in making the hardcore experience anymore because it's too much effort for too little reward and we recognize the fact that we don't get it and there's no reason for us as Call of Duty to struggle through uncertain territory when we can just do the thing that we know makes money. And that, in this case, isn't zombies. I basically wonder when zombies will no longer be worth the effort. And I hope that's never. It would truly be tragic if that was the result of this year's Zombies game. And I want to be 100% clear here, I don't think that's going to be the result. It's just a scary thought that we're going to have a two-year break, and in that time, a lot is going to change in the industry, and we're going to look back at where Zombies is at, and we're going to go, oh yeah, well, it, it kind of had Cold War, which was decent. Cold War was a decent year. But then my, oh my, it struggled with Vanguard and now there's been nothing? It's going to be more and more of a gamble as time goes on to bring something new back in that way and for it to actually work. And it leaves me in a position where I also wonder, as people start to grow up, if the Zombies community, having already this year basically not really played the game, are going to collectively just move on. And that sounds like something that would happen every year, right? Every year, there's a new cohort of people that are that much older, they're getting jobs, they're moving out, they're just getting on with their lives, they're not in school anymore, etc. But it's the fact that we've had this year of that already happening, and I was talking about this in my stream the other day, saying to people, what have you been up to this year when Zombies hasn't been so good? And they've been saying, oh, well, for the first time, I've really not played the game, and I've been just focusing on other things, I've been touching grass, etc. And next year, those people are probably going to do the same thing. And the year after that, they're probably going to do the same thing thing. And the newer generation coming up now is not going to just get into Black Ops 3 by default. That's not something that is going to just automatically happen. Like many of you watching this right now, and myself included in this, have grown up with this game. But this new cohort of folks that might become part of the Zombies community are going to have no reason to now. They certainly haven't this year, and they won't for the next two years. And that's a big gap in the kind of cultural zeitgeist of what people are interested in on the planet, like in the gaming industry en masse. I'm crossing all my fingers that that ends up being completely pointless worry and I have got a video coming out fairly soon that actually talks a little bit about zombies in 2024 which should be interesting you're gonna want to watch that but for now I'm left in this really strange position as a zombies creator of not knowing what the hell comes next and not necessarily being able to be like don't worry guys it's gonna be fine because I just don't know is all of this just a load of fear mongering and actually it's all going to be fine yeah probably it's going to be fine probably but where does that faith come from at the end of the day where 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 is it coming from is it faith in treyarch because that's all well and good but treyarch don't exclusively call the shots activision are involved do you trust activision and maybe more importantly do you have faith in activision to make the right decisions i don't know about you but I would think twice if I was putting my eggs in that basket, you know? And as a fan and as a business owner that supplements the community with my content, that is an extremely trepidatious position to be in. You never want the people who are reliant on your IP or invested in your IP or are really excited about and thrilled by and focused on your IP to be uncertain of whether that fandom is going to just go nowhere in the future. Nobody wants to be the fan that is left kind of holding the bag when their favorite show gets cancelled and they never get to find out what happens at the end. And just as someone doesn't want to get invested in a story that doesn't end on a Netflix or whatever, you have the same thing with the zombies narrative. Suddenly, there's a lot less reason to actually be invested in the lore of zombies because it always felt like it was going somewhere before, but now, I don't know, man, we're basically waiting to see what happens with Peck five years later. And the incentive to care about that, where is it? It's basically dependent on people's interest in a reimagined old version of Edward Richterfen being strong enough that half a decade between Cold War and the next proper zombies experience pretty much 
not quite, but pretty much isn't going to shake their faith and isn't going to shake their interest and they aren't going to move on with their lives and they are still going to buy it when it comes out and they are still going to watch the videos and play the game and do the Easter eggs and read the lore and all those sorts of things. And I don't know, man, shaky ground as far as I'm concerned. I think in terms of expectations, this year has been really poorly managed by Treyarch and Activision. I think that they need to look at their social media team, their community management team, etc and ask them what it is they've been trying to achieve this year with zombies and what the result has been. Because a lot of the zombies' social messaging and marketing in the last 18 months, I would say, has been so dreadful. I certainly think that this year could have gone very, very differently had they positioned things in a different way. And again, I get it, Activision will have control and blah, 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 but ultimately it's been mismarketed. Do I think that zombies could be fun in 2024? Absolutely, I do. And I don't want this video, once again, because people are so one-dimensional whenever I say something negative. Oh my God, it drives me insane. I don't want to be able to construe this as, wow, he thinks that zombies is over and dead for good. If you think that, you should just leave the community. Come on. Where is your nuance of thought, man? I mean, it's actually depressing that you can't recognize the fact that, again, the only reason I give a damn about any of this is because I want it to be good in the future. Like, what benefit does it serve me if Zombies just ends? Zero. Of course I want it to be fun. And there was a little hint to that in Shinonuma, and it's just, again, the missing of potential that we keep being served up. Makes me weep, dude. It just makes me sad. So I'm probably gonna do a Vanguard Zombies autopsy in the next couple of weeks. That is linked on the screen here if I've already posted it. I'll go in a bit more depth there about what the hell's gone wrong this year. And I also do have some fun Zombies Boogie Boys slash Z House group content coming fairly soon. So you can look forward to that. There'll be at least one reason to stick around for a little bit longer in this community. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.